Our primary goal with the Jarrett Bay Insider is to bring you some real value. We want to teach, we want to inspire, we even want to entertain you a little bit on what goes on in the inside world of boat building. Well, we have just recently completed an 84 foot custom sport fisher, and today we're going to flex. The first glimpse we had of this boat was back in May of 2019. So here we are at the 84 foot hole number 60. To say that a lot has changed would be a dramatic understatement. Today, you get to see the whole boat, but it's a big boat, so we better get started. Real Development is Jarrett Bay's second largest build to date. It's an 84 foot open bridge convertible with a 21 foot eight inch beam. It has a fuel capacity of 3,600 gallons and a water capacity of 350 gallons, which makes it perfect for long range campaigns to some of the world's hottest bill fisheries. Her traditional cold molded hull is complemented with high tech resin infused composite deck components and cabin top. It's painted in eye catching Aristo blue with cloud white top sides. It features a mix of real teak and faux teak, which in this day and age is nearly indistinguishable. On the bow, we have a removable pulpit windlass combination and a flush mounted bow hatch and the forward brow hatch dunnage locker, which is accessed wirelessly with the simple press of a button. We call this the dunnage locker. There will be a door here that's on big heavy duty hinges and we have what is essentially outdoor storage. Now let's go check the business end. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, <laughs> well, last time I was standing in this cockpit was just over a year ago. I am standing in the cockpit of hole number 60, which is the 84 footer. And as you can see, it's like a giant dance floor here. This boat has a lot of space. And I was not wrong. It's a fisherman's dream. This cockpit is 260 square feet, which is a ton of room for moving around and fighting big fish. The cockpit features a glass front 210 gallon transom fish box, which is also a live well, and two in-deck fish boxes at 120 gallons each. Forward of the cockpit is a spacious air-conditioned mezzanine loaded with concealed storage, including two large ice dumps, a freezer with bait trays, a large drink box, and gas storage. So this is called the business end of the boat because, well, this is where the action happens. Screaming rods, roaring engines, spraying salt water, fighting fish, this is it. This is why this boat exists. Just through that door, however, it's a whole different world. Let's just say it's a bit more luxurious. Let's take a look. Welcome to the salon, feast your eyes on this. The breathtaking satin cherry finishes throughout the interior hide a bevy of components, equipment, and storage spaces that equates to one of the most elite, high performance sport fishing battle wagons of the future. The spacious salon features overhead illuminated AC valances, a large L-shaped sofa with storage, double tinted window glass, and a pop-up 55 inch TV. As we walk into the galley, one of the first things we notice is the unique walnut floor with the cherry inlay. This galley also features a full-size oven and a microwave with a dual under-counter sub-zero refrigeration and a wine cooler. I gotta confess, I'm in love with this beautiful countertop. It's some kind of a quartzite, but the veins of blue and the texture is just very stunning. It's used throughout the galley and over on the dinette. Just because we're surrounded by comfort and luxury does not mean we've forgotten that we are in a fishing boat. The ever-present aura of being a world-class sport fishing yacht is seamlessly woven into all this comfort. So as we go forward from the galley, we have a locker here that's gonna be a storage locker, and I'm telling you, there's a lot of space in there. It includes a full-size freezer, large rod storage, and additional provision storage. The opposite side of the companionway has a very spacious day head. So behind me is the curved companionway that takes us down to the lower level. You may have seen it in a couple of our other episodes. 
So we're down forward in hole 60 and we're taking a look at the trim work. These walls have been built in. We've got some big storage spaces here. As you can see, we have a curved companion way here. Well, it looks a lot different today. The stunning interior refinements continue below with wainscoting throughout the companion ways and walnut flooring with a cherry inlay and in all the wet areas, including the full laundry room. Once the sun sets on a day of action, the team can retreat to any of the four plush staterooms below, each with their own private head, including an enclosed stand-up shower. So we're in one of the staterooms in the boat and all of the beds that are larger than a twin actually have an electric lift so you can get to the storage access underneath them. Each stateroom is connected to a central AV system with a built-in flat screen TV and ample storage throughout, including full-size cedar-lined closets. Besides the four regular staterooms, this boat has a dedicated crew quarters. Now we call this the dungeon during the build because it's the center bottom of the boat. But as you can see looking around, this room enjoys all the luxury and comfort of every other room in this boat. It is not a dungeon anymore. Plus, we have full access to the engine room. Welcome to the heart of the boat. This boat features twin MTU 16V series 2000 M96L engines that are generating a combined 5200 horsepower. All that power propels this boat to a 40 knot top end while offering up a 33.5 knot cruise speed. So this engine room is as quiet as it's ever gonna be right now, but this room can really get lit up with noise when these engines are running. Fire the hole! Twin 38 KW Northern Lights generators provide ample power for every system and creature comfort, while the Twin Seakeeper SK16 gyro stabilizers will ensure a near zero roll experience for anglers and guests while fishing are underway. The engine room is a yacht grade finish, fully climate controlled, set up for ease of maintenance, and easily accessed directly from either the cruise quarters or the cockpit. Now that we've been through the heart of the boat, let's go take a look at the brains of this whole operation. The bridge. The bridge layout features this commanding center console, which transitions effortlessly into an inviting sun lounge. And you guessed it, with lots more storage. It has an integrated 260 gallon freezer and sea deck floors. Bridge guests can join the captain in comfort thanks to the dedicated AC system. The signature Jarrett Bay Teak Helm Pod is complemented with three massive 24-inch Garmin multi-function displays and three release Marine Teak Helm chairs. I can only imagine the adventures that the captain and crew are gonna have as they travel around on this beautiful masterpiece. They're now part of the Jarrett Bay family and we're looking forward to following along on their adventures as well. And on that note, I just wanna thank you for following us on this adventure and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>